Homework number uh, 9.24, 24, right? So we're told that the ideal value is 3.7. The question is, do we change from 3.7? Not higher, not lower, no, no, no direction, just different than 3.7. That's what later on, on Wednesday, we'll learn about higher versus lower, but right now it's in top symbol. The x bar, I'm sorry, uh, you're what was the x bar? What was the average? Uh, 3.7. Yeah, that was the idea. That was the, that was the mu. What was it's 3.575. 3.57 was the average of the sample. The mu value is always the ideal value of 3.7. The s was 0.8, I recall. The sample size was? 64. 64? OK. So of course, the next step is simply to plug those numbers into a formula for the calculator, which comes out to a negative number, I believe, because it's 357 is lower than 3.7. What does that come out to? Anybody doing the calculations? I think yes. It's negative 1.3. Negative 1.3. Thank you. Again, if anybody disagrees with, let me know. Now, that's the end of step number one. Step number two is done. We have we finished. Step number three. You've got to go to the degree of freedom is 64 minus 1. Which is 63, of course. The alpha is, is 0.05 divided by 2 is 0 0.25. So this, you're going to go to the Z table and look up under the column label 0 0.25, for the reasons that we've been explaining it later. And going down to row number 63, which is the degree of freedom, you're going to see there probably something a little bit bigger than 1.96. Because remember, 96 is the number for the Z table. 1.99. And it's 1.99. I might as well take it before the decimal place, 1.99. Uh, 1.9983. Number is a little bit bigger than 1.96, but it's, just, you know, it's a pretty big sample size. Minus 1.9983. And we're one step away from finishing the whole thing off. Where is minus 1.3? Well, minus 1.3 is in between 0 and minus 1.9, that's for sure. So we're in the region called do not project a 0, and there's about only one possible answer you can write down. Do not project a 0. And of course, the final last two or three points based on the interpretation of the, can I have it again? Uh, it says, is there evidence that the population mean waiting time is different from, from 3.7? No, That requires a simple yes or a simple no. If you don't say yes or no, you have to answer the question. Is there evidence that it's different than 3.7? In other words, is it the same as 3.7 or different than 3.7? Same. It's the same, so there is no evidence. I mean, it would have been like a really, really big X bar, and this would have ended up over here someplace or over here someplace, then there would be evidence, right? Now, right now, the answer is no, there is no evidence. And I hope you understand that's the final interpretation of this question.